Hey, good morning to you. Good to see you today. It's Wednesday. Got a brand new cup in. My good friend Donald Borland uh, gave me a new cup, new coffee cup. And uh, how about that? It's pretty cool. Hey, happy Wednesday to you. Today's inauguration day, 46th president uh, today takes office, 46th president being Joe Biden. Uh, before Mr. Trump leaves office, officially yesterday, he, um, and it's traditional when a president leaves office, often he'll pardon uh, a number of people. And so yesterday <clears throat> was no exception. Uh, he pardoned 143 people. They're, they're free, if you will. They're, they're, uh, because they've had a presidential pardon. Nothing like getting pardoned. Yesterday, I was traveling down Highway 71, and I was uh, just minding my own business. Probably my thoughts were somewhere else. And I met a police officer. And when the police officer, right before uh, the police officer got even with me, all of a sudden, the police officer uh, in their automobile, their lights came on. And then I looked in my rearview mirror by this time because the, the cop had passed. And sure enough, uh, this police officer was turning around in the middle of the road. And here the police officer came. At that time, I looked down at my speedometer, and, and um, well, anyway, I uh, realized that I must have been uh, <laughs> exceeding the speed limit. And so um, I was told to exit my vehicle once I was pulled over, which I complied with, obviously. And and uh, I went back and says, hey, how you doing? <laughs> and the police officer says, uh, can I see your driver's license, please? I have... Uh, on radar, I have you doing um, 67 in a 55. And I said, oh, really? And the police officer looked at my uh, driver's license and called in. And I was given the all clear. There's no priors. And then the police officer um, did not write me a ticket. And I didn't talk my way out of it. Trust me, I, I just stood there and I complied and did exactly as the police officer told me to do. Um, she said then to me, sir, drive safer, drive slower. And then she walked back to her vehicle. Wow. And I was actually kind of stunned a little bit. No warning ticket, um, no ticket. Thank goodness. I got a pardon yesterday. And so I am very grateful to her for giving me a pardon, for letting me off yesterday. I deserved a ticket. Uh, and, and there's probably more times than not that I've, I've sped accidentally, <laughs> really, honestly. Uh, it isn't that I, in any way, I don't think any one of us good citizens um, go out of our way ever to, to break the law, obviously. That's what makes us good citizens. One of the reasons that we're good citizens is because we try to stay um, within the confines of the law. So I'm grateful for that pardon I got yesterday. I didn't deserve it, but I got it. 2,000 years ago on Calvary's Hill, Jesus signed my pardon. He died for you. He died for me. I am grateful for that pardon. But with that pardon, I have to accept it or I have to reject it. And the wise thing to do, obviously, the actually the only choice you have, really, if you think about it, is accepting, accepting the pardon and following through with what he requires of you to go through the process of getting your sins forgiven, getting your sins washed away, and becoming a new creature in Christ Jesus. I'm glad for pardons yesterday, and I'm glad for the pardon that Jesus extended to me and extended to you 2,000 years ago when he shed his blood on Calvary's Hill. Hey, I hope you have a great day. I hope your day is blessed. And, uh, Thank you for watching Coffee with the Pastor. And thanks again, Donald, for the uh, coffee cup.